everyone, and welcome to my review of DreamWorks Home. Home is a decent animated movie for its animation. And that's the best thing I'll say about it. However, its plot has tons of holes. It's very up and down. The voice actors don't really act. And it's just not that enjoyable overall. I went to the movie with low expectations. I came out feeling mediocre about it. I didn't hate it at all. One thing about DreamWorks Animation is whenever I know they're going to be releasing a movie and I see a trailer for it, I watch the trailer and I'm either really excited or I become apathetic towards it. And then I just wait to see it when it comes out. Home apathy. Total apathy and I left feeling still apathetic. I don't think it's a bad movie, but it's geared towards children. It doesn't have the same effect that How to Train Your Dragon 2 or How to Train Your Dragon or even Rise of the Guardians has. And Rise of the Guardians is what I think will happen to this movie. It will do well, like Rise of the Guardians. It will make its money, but it will not become a franchise or this gigantic series. Maybe DreamWorks might try to do that, but their budget is so constrained at the moment due to financial setbacks. I can't imagine them trying to really milk home for everything it is because it's not really that much of an amazing, amazing movie, except for its animation because anything that really comes out of DreamWorks animation is very good with its animation overall. The movie stars Jim Parsons as O, Rihanna as Tip, Jennifer Lopez as Tip's mother, and Steve Martin as the captain. None of them are voice acting except for Steve Martin. I didn't recognize Steve Martin as the captain. Pip sounds exactly like Rihanna. I'm not sure of Rihanna's age. I don't listen to Rihanna's music, but she plays a 12 year old girl. She sounds like a 25 year old the whole time. There's no like young squeakiness to her voice. It's very much a distraction. Like whenever Tip is talking, I am a little bit removed from it because I'm saying that's just Rihanna. I, I want to put Rihanna's face onto Tip's body. Jim Parsons is even worse because in real life, Jim Parsons sounds like the way O talks and that's the way Sheldon talks. So you're just seeing a little Sheldon and he even has Sheldon's quirks and weirdness. However, O as a character is actually very interesting and he's kind of cute and his animation I really like, you know, some of the jokes in the movie were pretty good too and like it worked for Jim Parsons' quirkiness that he had. But when it comes down to like realizing that O is different from Jim Parsons, that's not going to happen. Jennifer Lopez's character, Tip's mom, who's not even named beyond my mom, doesn't really talk that much. So DreamWorks, I don't know how much you paid Jennifer Lopez, but if you did, you probably overpaid her. DreamWorks has a thing where they generally pay the voice actors or they pay brand name celebrity voice actors to do the voice acting in the movie. It's kind of like masking a possibly bad movie with big celebrities. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and if it doesn't work, they lose their money to the celebrities. The plot of the movie pretty much is the Boo, which is O species, comes to Earth because they're running away from the Gorg. And they then relocate all the people on Earth to Australia. Alien invasions and the people don't fight? Why aren't we fighting back? I mean, we just got taken over and we just accept it? Okay, that's, that's how it's gonna go. Because the movie is an adventure between Tip and O. Then the people are relocated and Tip, it's not explained, like I said, there's plot holes, doesn't get relocated. And then she meets up with O and O is a disaster. He's a calamity and a reject from his people. There's a reason why they go on a big adventure. I won't spoil that. And pretty much what happens is Tip and O go to find Tip's mom in Australia. And then they have the adventure of going to find her and it's fun. There's a lot of fun, cute lines. The movie has good subtlety. Now I was at the movie theater with a lot of other little children and there was times when they were just laughing at the jokes that were clearly aimed towards them. There weren't a lot of jokes aimed towards adults, but the one subtle things, like there's a scene towards the end where O shot the fence as the fence is being destroyed. And I laughed at that because that was funny and interesting. Like that's enjoyable to me. The characters are relatively kind of flat because you figure out that O is a klutz and Tip wants to find her mom. And that's what they do and they're not changing. They're fun together in a group, but again, it's like you have Jim Parsons and Rihanna talking on a podcast or something like that. Overall, and I'm not really gonna get too much more into the plot because I don't wanna spoil it for you guys because if I start to talk about the plot, it will be spoiled. But it's an adventure movie between Tip and O 
And I would say it's a three out of five or a C out of an A to F on like a grading scale. It's a decent movie animation wise, but plot wise, it's just not that great. It's not gonna be winning an Oscar. And unfortunately this is DreamWorks' only theatrical release this year. Like I said, I was apathetic going into it. I was apathetic leaving it. I'm just letting you know how I feel about it. So let me know in the comments below if you'll be seeing Home, if you were excited to see Home, if you completely disagree with what I'm saying about Home. I don't think Home is a bad movie. I just found the approach and the writing to really mess it up and make it a, just a mediocre movie, which is unfortunate because DreamWorks generally can make some really fun movies. How to Train Dragon, How to Train Dragon 2, Rise of the Guardians, and Shrek. Madagascar. I mean, there's a ton of great movies from DreamWorks, but this just wasn't one of the greats. So like I said, let me know in the comments below what you thought about Home, will you be seeing Home, do you agree or do you disagree with my thoughts about Home? Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye! <laughs>